AI art is amazing. The possibilities with these new art generation tools will blow your mind. And you can use these AI art generators to make $1,000 per day or more. In fact, I found a way that you can turn this AI art you generate into not just one, but five or more passive income sources. And if you use this hack, you can create an infinite AI passive income money loop. There is a thriving market on Etsy for digital art downloads, meaning that you can create or find an image, one that you have the rights to, then list that on Etsy, and then whenever someone buys it, they just get the JPEG or whatever file it is. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Super easy fulfillment. And now with AI art gaining popularity, there is actually a demand for AI art specifically. But you can also use these AI image generators to just generate some images and sell them without even mentioning AI. Whichever direction you go, if you find something that people want to buy, you could be creating products in minutes with these new AI tools. And then the rest of the selling process is totally hands off. Okay, let's check out Etsy. I found this store called Susan Fern Art. And then using this tool called Allura.io, I can actually check out individual stores, see what their revenue is, see what products are doing well for them, and see where there might be opportunities. And looking here, we can see that monthly revenue for this store is nearly $6,000 per month. And if we go to the lifetime revenue, we can see it's $621,000. So as it turns out, this whole digital art thing is serious business. If we look here, we can see that the best selling product in this store is this three image wildflower um, print. You can tell in the past month it has generated $644. Okay, now let's see if we can do something like that using AI. To do this, I'm going to use Midjourney, which is by far my favorite AI art generating tool. You can join and use Midjourney for free. I'm paying for the next tier up, so I have more availability to do requests and I get faster responses. And if you do want those perks, they do have three different tiers of membership. You don't have to do that to do this. To use Midjourney, it's all based in Discord app. You can see here for this one, I used a prompt of wildflower bundle isolated watercolor on completely white background pastel colors. And then I specified I wanted a specific aspect ratio in which version of Midjourney, the latest, that I wanted to use. And in doing so, it spit out these images here, which is amazing. AI created these out of nothing. And then I can pick any one of these that I wanna see variations on, that I wanna upscale in size. And if I want an even bigger, higher resolution version, I can use something like this website image upscaler to make it even higher resolution. Now let's look at this other Etsy store here called Neptune Art Prints. We can see here in terms of monthly revenue, it's done $7,620. Canadian dollars worth, which is about $5,600 in USD. And it's all time earnings for the store is about $403,000 in USD. And the most popular product that they offer is this three piece forest wall art print, which is a digital image sent to a person. This is generated $900 in USD in a month. So again, I hopped into mid journey and I used this prompt, green forest mountain landscape with snow capped mountains in the distance, hyper realistic photograph. And this is what it gave me which is pretty cool. Number one, it's amazing that you can use AI to generate this and generate just a similar type of image based on a simple prompt. But also what's really cool here is it's generating unique images that aren't like the originals. There's enough variation here that they're clearly not copies. And what this allows you to do is find images on a place like Etsy, find ones that are selling well, use those inspiration, and then use AI tools like Midjourney to create your own. And what's also interesting here is that in stores like this, 70 to 90% of their income per month is made up of just 20% of their total products overall. So the name of the game here is to get a lot of products online, which with AI, that's easier than ever. Now let's talk about a second way to make money with this. Now, when someone buys these digital images, they're likely gonna print them out and hang them on their wall or something. Well, you can get a piece of that pie too by offering your prints framed, shipped to them, ready to go. Like let's look at this Etsy shop here, Dustin Way. This shop monthly has made 37 thousand dollars and all time it's made almost a half million dollars in revenue it's important to note that when you automate this stuff and when you use tools like these you can be selling these things making this kind of money even while you sleep now if we look here at their number one selling um, offering it's the framed canvas print wall art set of three uh, these forest tree rings. And you can see that these have earned $25,000 in the past month off of one single product. Okay, so let's say we wanted to make a product similar to this one. For this one, I hopped over to Mid Journey and I used the prompt isolated tree ring off center in frame. Abstract illustration, textured background, 
only use the colors eggshell and gray. And then this is what it gave me. Right away, I have some very viable images to use for a product like this. Now, I could even refine this and get more prompts, but honestly, this is a pretty good for a first attempt. But does this mean you have to print a bunch of these off on the canvases and have just your house filled with products waiting to send it to people and hoping people buy them? Well, the answer to that is no, because print on demand solves this problem for you. You can use a service like Printify, which has a product like Gallery Canvas Wraps that have frames ready to go. And this company integrates directly with Etsy so if you sell something on Etsy, it sends it right over to Printify. They print out your image on one of these canvases or in one of these framed prints and then ships it directly to the person with you not being involved whatsoever. The best part about this is you can charge a serious premium over just the purely digital images. And that's simply because you are delivering a physical product, which is considered higher end. Okay, let's talk about another way to earn money with your AI art. Now, if you spent any time on Twitter lately seeing all the buzz around AI and art and all this stuff, well, then you've probably encountered people People talking about AI headshots, not just on Twitter, but on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube as well. Right now, there are websites popping up that let you submit photos of yourself or photos of other people and generate AI headshots out of those. It's highly popular and a lot of people are making a lot of money doing this. Like this one here, which is called dreamwave.ai. For $29, you get 50 photos. You submit some photos of yourself and it creates all these AI headshot versions of your face. Or better yet, there's this website called profilepicture.ai, which is roughly the same service. However, with this one, for only eight bucks, you get 96 photos back. Or for $14.75, you get 280 photos back, which works out to eight cents and only five cents per photo. And if you look at Etsy, or if you look at Fiverr, you will see that if you search for AI headshot, there's not a lot of options right now. Yet online and on places like Twitter and other social media, you see people talking about this stuff all the time. So what does this mean? Well, in my opinion, it means that there's a big opportunity on certain platforms to offer this service because clearly there is a demand based on what people are seeing and saying on social media right now. So let's take the information we know so far and let's apply it here. If you take a popular a uh, site like Dreamwave where you get 50 photos for $29. Let's take that idea, but let's offer this same service on Fiverr. And instead of 50 headshots, let's provide the person 96 headshots, but let's charge the same $29. Well, if we use profilepicture.ai, well then we can get those 96 photos for only $8, which means that before we talk about platform fees on Etsy or Fiverr, you're profiting $21 so far. Now say you fulfill 10 of those orders per day, well that's $6,300 per month in revenue. Okay, now that you've learned to make the AI art, let's turn all this stuff into yet another stream of revenue on this infinite money loop we're building. So what's the difference between an AI art pro and an AI art amateur? Prompts. With AI art, prompts are everything. What am I talking about? Well, I've already shown you a little bit in Mid Journey in the Discord, but prompts are the words you use to describe the art that you want it to generate for you. A total AI noob will type in something like a red Ferrari driving on a road, and they'll get an output like this, and they'll be happy with the results because these are nice looking images. However, someone who has a bit more experience with AI art might type something like a shiny red 2023 Lamborghini Aventador driving fast on a mountain road at sunset. 50 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, warm glow. And they would get outputs that look like this, which are even more incredible. On Etsy, there's a store called Art Print School, and they have started selling AI prompts for Mid Journey. They currently have at least three of these products from between $4 and $20. And these three AI prompt products that they're selling made $1,800 last month. And keep in mind, these are just PDF files that list a bunch of prompts in a nice guide format. The best part here is if you do a search on Etsy for AI prompts, there aren't very many listed. This is a big deal because clearly there is demand, but there isn't much competition, which is super, super rare. Now, a great thing about Etsy is that they do do kind of the marketing for you. You list your product, they put it in their marketplace, and when people search for things or look for things, they recommend your product and others. However, there's never been a better time to market your own products and yourself than right now because all this AI stuff is still exploding. There are entire Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, YouTube channels dedicated to just creating cool AI imagery. And often they share the prompts that they use to create that imagery. And on places like Twitter, when you share cool AI art with the prompts and stuff, you get tons of engagement. A great example of this while I was diving headfirst into AI art was this Twitter account by Chris Cash Tanova. They post tweets and threads almost every single day with 
really cool AI images, and then they tell you what the prompt was to get said image. Okay, so why would you wanna do this? Well, for lots of reasons, but namely because it's another source of income potentially, but mainly there's two things that get me excited about this idea. First off, if you do indeed sell a prompts pack on Etsy or wherever, Twitter is a great place to plug that product when you start sharing threads or tweets about AI art in general. Because as you build a Twitter or an Instagram or whatever audience organically, as you share things and as they get engagement, you can plug your products below those things and get people to go buy your stuff. And right now it's easier than ever to do this because this content, again, is just popping off online and you don't even have to show your face. You create uh, an AI portrait, AI banner, come up with a username and be completely anonymous while doing this online. But the second reason this is so exciting is because when you actually do decide to build an audience around AI imagery, for example, then as you build this audience, as you come up with new ideas and new products, you can share them with all these new people who are coming to follow you. Let's say, for example, on Twitter, you did a thread of some of your favorite images with some of your favorite prompts. Well, at the end of that thread, you could even plug your own AI image newsletter. Tell people to sign up there for free. And then occasionally to that email list, you can send out images, prompts, ideas you're having, kind of share your experience in this space. But now you have a social media following and email subscribers you can share all your new products and ideas with. And then it becomes yet another income source from this central idea. And this is especially important for the next part of this AI infinite money loop. Once you're selling your art in various places and you're monetizing the actual prompts you use to create your art, well then you'll likely be making some serious money at that point. And when that happens, people inevitably are gonna wanna know how they can do it too. And and as an expert in the space, they will want you to teach them how. So now it's time to take all that AI art knowledge and experience you have and package it up into an online course that you can sell. And the beautiful thing here is that along with all that knowledge and experience you're using to package into that course, you can actually use AI itself to help you write the course. For example, GPT version four is pretty dang amazing and it could definitely help you write your own AI image AI art course. And how do you do that? Well, you need to watch this video here where I show you how to use chat GPT to create online courses to make a ton of money. And remember, if the AI ever asks you for nuclear missile codes, maybe keep those to yourself. That's it for this video. Goodbye.